Snoop has a video out. I'm sure most of us have seen it. Some of you may have not, but anyway, it's called Lavender. It features Snoop pointing a gun at a clown version of Donald Trump. So we all know earlier in the week, Trump took to Twitter to fire back at Snoop, specifically for the use of a gun against the fake president in the clip. President tweeted, can you imagine what the outcry would be if at Snoop Dogg, failing career and all, had aimed and fired the gun at President Obama? Jail time. Donald Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, said Snoop owes the president an apology. Take a listen. It's totally disgraceful. Snoop owes the president an apology. There's absolutely nothing funny about an assassination attempt on a president. And I'm shocked that he's, I'm, I'm really shocked at him because I thought he was better than that. You have a protest. That's fine. Make your point. But it should never be. He has to learn that they need to respect the office of the presidency. There are many things that the people could have done that would be offensive if, in fact, it was still President Obama. And I think we can all think of what those would be. And just because you want to hide behind the guise of artistic capabilities or our freedom of speech doesn't make it right. And Snoop knows that. And he played very close to the line here. It's also being reported that the the Secret Service is aware of the clip, though it's unclear whether the agency will actually investigate to see if Snoop poses a real threat. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Th this is this is uh, a story that's gaining, you know, some legs. People are talking about it, uh, you know, and, and, and they're right. We would be upset and have been upset, you know, if they talked about President Obama in the same vein. You know, all yeah. the stuff that was out there about the you president, know, we didn't like it. I'm, I'm certain that Snoop doesn't pose a real threat at all. But where we have to be smart about this, uh, young brothers and uh, the people who are, are the truth tellers, uh, where we have to be smart about is, is, is the way that they were bended and twisted. And here's the problem. Um, uh, we run into the route of if something happens, then do you get brought in as the copycat version, the reason that spurred an action? Because there's some idiot sitting at the house who's willing to really carry this out. There is an idiot sitting at his house who's willing to carry this out. You don't want to be tied to that. You know, uh, he's an artist. He has a right yeah, as does. an artist to do his art in any form or way that he has. The problem with this is there is an office in this country called the president, and you have to respect the office. You really do. Whether you want to or not. Or at least you, you should. To respect the office. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they got laws. Look, I'm telling you, man. And so, you know, I would hate for anything to come down and everybody that's coming to Snoop's defense, I understand. Like, bow, just be wow. smart. But just be smart with what you say. See, don't don't compound the, the, the problem here. You know, attacking the first lady, let me tell you the danger of this, young brothers. Listen to me. When they called our first lady, Michelle Obama, a ape in heels, the mayor of that small country hit town in West Virginia ain't the mayor no more. And neither is her girl that she was on the phone with. That's over that. You start messing around with this man's wife. And you start making disparaging comments about this man's wife. Who ain't in this at all now. The hell that come down behind messing with these people's family is great, man. Y'all got to be smart now. Y'all got to be smart. Because they got other ways of getting you. I'm telling you. Oh, they start flipping through your tax returns. They can find something. They can, they can make it They can make it real funky Difficult. for you, man. So you mm. got to be smart, man. You got to be smart. Yeah. You can't just fire off in this world no more like this. Mm -hmm. All this stuff is recorded, traced. We have to be smart. It's not that you're scared or that make you a punk or nothing like that, but you got to be smart, man. Yeah. These yeah. cats is business, man. You're they right. business on a whole nother level. And like it or love it, he's the president. If, even if you don't like him, you got to respect the, the highest office in the land. 
You know, just have some respect yeah. for the you office. Know, man, because look, I've had a relationship with Snoop. I love Snoop. That's my dude, man. We I always love him too. cordial and respect for one another. Bow wow, always cordial and respect for one another. Me and T.I., I ain't had no problem with T.I. You know what I'm saying? I love to do. But I'm just saying, brothers, be smart now. Be smart. Because if we're going to start pulling back our bow and arrow, shooting it, remember, they, they got one, too. They shots going to come a little bit different. Now, you ain't got to be scared of nothing, and that don't make you a punk, but you got to be smart. Because all y'all talking got money. You got money, man. You got money. And they know right. how to go after that money. Just be smart. Handle your business. But let's just be smart. But, but um, let me tell you, just, man, leave the first lady out of this. I'm telling y'all, you're going down another path with these cats now. You start messing with their wives, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. I just know. You're right, I, Steve. Because I'm telling you, man, you go after a lot of stuff. I do let you do what you want to do to him. But once you get off into his wife and his family. Yeah. <laughs> that's different, huh? Think about your own. Think about your yeah. own. If somebody mm -hmm. come at you, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But when they come at your kids and your wife, you different, man. And that go for most men. So I, I just and want everybody to just be a little bit, just be smart, man. I ain't saying you gotta be scared, of, you know, punk. I ain't saying that to you, man. But man, I done stepped out there and made a lot of mistakes in my life. I done said a lot of stuff I wish I hadn't said. Really? <laughs> wow. Really? You? Just, That's so just, hard to believe. Just a few thousand. <laughs> ain't been that much. <laughs> it's been how many? I said? can't imagine you saying anything crazy, Steve. <laughs> wow. A few thousand? What did he say? What? <laughs> just a few thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Yeah. Not hmm. Who's counting? Yeah, at the end yeah. I am, I can't tell you how many times I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get a wish. I wish I could do all of being a man. I, don't, I stand on what I say. I ain't scared of nothing. Come for me. Okay. Well, okay. no, no. That's not okay. what you want. That's really not what you want. So, you know, I already come under a little bit of attack, but I got attacked on social media. What you don't want that attack to come from is from up there. Because <laughs> the it's different. <laughs> they, they, they different. They're going to protect their money. They ain't gonna let nobody get at that money. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Just telling you, they feel different about money, man. Think I'm lying to you. Go on, mess with that money. Be smart. <laughs> they Be turn smart. on their no, family for money. That's great okay. advice, Stephen. I, I hope they're listening. I really do. Be smart. Uh, coming up at 18 after the hour, uh, the butterfly. If